Hell of fuck. Hello guys and oh my Hell oh. <clears throat> <clears throat> Hello guys and welcome back to this new video. In this video we are going to do an idle pose or an idle animation. Okay, so we are going to do a breathing animation so that this model or this pose doesn't look as static as it does. So I think I made it a little bit too dynamic this pose already. So I'm just gonna lower this ponytail. Let me enable bones. Let's alt reset this and now we have a less dynamic pose. I want to keep it this like this because it just looks awesome. Okay, what you wanna do is maybe make a 60 frame breathing animation. Uh, you wanna select all the bones by pressing A. By the way, this is an IK rig. If you wanna know how to make an IK rig, uh, you can go ahead and watch my video on how to do it. And I'll leave this model in the description if you wanna do exactly what I do. So, what you wanna do is set a keyframe by pressing I on every single bone. Uh, you will apply this as your, well, main pose thing. Um, now you wanna go to the 35th frame and basically move these bones out just a little. Maybe, maybe just a little and do that for this one as well. Because when you're breathing, you are ex you are basically pumping air, which moves your, well, shoulders back and away from your chest. So uh, that's what we're doing here. Maybe even rotate it slightly. There you go. And we do want to keep those hands involved. There we go. So when you're moving the shoulders, the hands will have to be delayed a little bit. And then basically all you do is copy the same starter frame to the 60th. And you can leave it at this, really? Okay, but we wanna do more. Uh, let's see, this, this hand doesn't really move, right? Okay, let's move that up a bit, a bit as well. But let's move this frame even a bit more. Oh wait, let's grab all of this, set the frame to the, set this frame to the middle, and then select these hands and move those frames, move those by about five frames, so that you get a bit of a delayed effect. What you want, because hands don't move as quick as the shoulders do. So, because well, the shoulders are a bit delayed, or the hands are a bit delayed. Let's see, we wanna do a bit less of that. So this is pretty heavy breathing already. Uh, what you wanna do is, now if you wanna make it even more detailed, you wanna go ahead and add another keyframe in one of the spines, and I think this one is the best for it. And maybe do that when you do it for this one, you want to move this slightly to about frame, frame 25. And when you do, for example, this one, you want to do it at frame 28. So the lower you go, the faster or, or the or the earlier you have to put a keyframe. And we'll put this at 30 as well. As you can see, that's doing something. And this hand isn't exactly exactly how it's supposed to be, but you can fix that by selecting it. Uh, if you want to keep it on the arm, you go ahead and select it, delete these keyframes, and add a constraint. Child off, select the armature, and the bone, let's see, what's this bone? Arm twist, right? Yeah, okay. Upper arm twist, R, and press set inverse. Then it will move seamlessly with it. Doesn't that look awesome? Okay. Now, uh, you can go even further and add some eye movement because when you're when you're standing still, you basically look everywhere. So let's see, we have these selected and we'll go ahead and copy this eye frame and move it two frames ahead, make her look up a bit and we'll copy that, uh, make her look 
slightly in another direction and we'll copy that and let's see um we'll make her let's see what's the end pose we'll do we'll copy that and move it ever so slightly and then we will copy that and put it right there and you can you can play it around around with this so uh, for example if you want to make this frame quicker or you you might want to make the eye movements quicker for example put it to one frame there you go you can do that and uh, but i prefer to leave it at two slow eyes and you can add even more detail you can make the uh, eyelids move with the eyes so you can you can do that okay so when the eye moves up it gets delayed a little bit so about there you move it up a little make a keyframe again you can also make a keyframe by simply pressing G and then instantly clicking down with the left mouse button as you can see that's beautiful now you can do that with this one as well and now it's just playing around you can even move the eyebrows a bit and then you have a slightly better effect well well this has been it uh thanks for watching and see you next time <laughs> bruh